Right here you got your money, sir. Thank you for cleaning the car. There you I go. Nice accumulation, man. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much. Here, here's your. Here, here's what I got for you, man. That's all you got too. That, oh. That's all I have, man. If I had more, I would definitely give it to you. Oh, okay, that, that's better than nothing. That's, that's better than nothing. You, you know what? You, you're okay with me giving you just a few yeah, pennies? Yeah, I, mean, I, I get a lot more than this, but easy, but I, mean, I did a good job in your car. <laughs> yes, you did. You know what? Come, come sit inside the car. I need to talk to you for all a right. second. Yeah, do you want? Do you mind coming? I don't mind coming at all. Okay, come, come, all come right. here. Sit with me. Open the door for you. Come, get inside. Get inside. So, 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 where do you live? Where do you stay at? I stay right here. You see, Colton. Colton. Yeah. And you right like here. you're just living like on the street, or you have a yeah, place? Yes, I stay in the street now because I'm sort of homeless. I'm homeless actually. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, how how long have you been homeless for? About three years. Three years? Yeah. Wow. And what exactly happened? How did you become homeless? I was in the state of Washington and things didn't work out. It was too cold up there for me and me and my girl split up. And then I got drunk. A lot of bad things started happening again. Accidents. Cars. So you were living in Washington State? Washington State. Yeah, it was very cold. Very, uh, very cold. cold. And then from there, you just decided to come to California. Yeah, it's, it's a lot warmer. I mean, I've tried to be homeless up there. Heck no, it's too cold. It's too Way cold. Way too cold. Too cold to be homeless. Heck, yeah. And then here, when you moved to California, you couldn't find a job or what exactly happened? Yeah, because it's, it's rough in California. It's a doggy dog world in California. It's like it's faster. It's a faster pace of living. Fa faster, yeah. Faster than uh, Washington, yes. that's for sure. And, and and then what exactly happened? You couldn't find a job. I, and couldn't, you find, just I began... couldn't find a job and just, I started doing some bad things. I started getting involved in some some drugs, I guess you could say. And then right. I sort of relapsed. I'm older now. I'm older now, so I, I let it go now. I just drink a little bit once in a while. And How old are you? I'm 56 years old. 56 years old. Yes. Um, and, and how are you coping up with like the bad things? Like since you said you were doing, you know, addictions and all yes, that stuff. I try to stay away from them people. I mean, they're, they're, they're cool people and fun to be around, but they just keep doing bad things. I can't keep doing that because it's, it's a big downfall. I like to do them. Right. But, but honestly, like I, I went to people to clean the car, right? I have given people, you know, like pennies, dime and people throw it back at me. They get mad. Like, what is this? You know, they, they expect at least a couple bucks. Yes. Um. Why are you so different? Why are you so nice? Because I, I know people work hard for the money, and I know I worked hard. I work very really hard for my money, and I see a penny on the floor. I pick them up. Right. I don't care. And I take pennies, whatever, because that feeds me. Right. That a still penny, adds up. Yeah, pennies add up to dollars. Right. It does add up to dollars. And so, let's say if you're going to buy a burger or something for you, yes. And if you're missing a dime or pennies, then they're not going to give you a burger, right? No. So it, not. it it will it will definitely add up. Yes, they do. Um. And and is it okay if I if I um, have this on camera because I'm actually you sure know. that's not a problem. I don't, I don't see why there's a problem with it. Right. I just clean windows for a hustle now. My windows for my hustle I get pennies like you said. Man, man, you are hustling. So is that how you make food? Like the money that people give you, you use yes, that money to go buy food. I, I recycle also as well. I recycle aluminum cans and copper and whatnot. Oh, so you go pick up cans from like the mostly the trash yes. cans. Yes, and and how much do you make from those cans in a day? I would say about sixty bucks, sixty or seventy bucks. Oh, nice! Well, and, that's but, just one one trip. If I, it's a good, it's a good day. About sixty bucks, maybe seventy. On a good day. Yes. And what, like, let's say it's a bad day, you couldn't find much. I would say about forty-five. Oh, that's that's still not bad, right? Yeah, but you I mean, can... I gotta pay my partner for gas if I have you no know, bags, big bags. I mean, it's you have just... to pay for gas to who? To my friends. Friends that have cars. Oh, they take you in the car yes. to take all the bottles. And cans, yes. Oh, so you collect them in like a trash bag? Yes. And then where do you keep them? I store them in my spot, my, 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 my house. My, is it my house, my tent. You have a tent? Yes, I do. What, what happens in the rain? Does the, I the... cover my tent up. My tent's real covered up. You know what I mean? What I, do you cover it with? Tarps. Tarps? tarps yeah. Oh, okay. I've heard that before. Yes. And uh, as far as... The food wise, let's say if you couldn't find bottles, you didn't have any money, how would you um, buy food? Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but I, I'll go in the stores and shoplift once in a while. Is that I should do and not be proud of, but I, I shoplift and I get food. I'm hungry, you know. I mean, this is this is heaven, it's God's world. I mean, it's out there in the stores, you just gotta go get it. Yeah, do you ever but, ask people for food too, or no? Yeah, I do when I'm hungry, very hungry. When I'm hungry, I'll go into the store and get something to eat, I'll go put it in my pocket. Do people ever like reject you and stuff? Not really, not really. I try to keep care of myself while grooming, man. And right now I'm kind of straggly because I haven't shaved. I sort of feel lazy today. Yeah. And Swing as far up. as when you said, you know, bad things happen to you and everything, what what exactly happened to you when you said bad things happen? Like some people try to 
Yeah, they try to rob me and stuff in Washington and stuff. Three, I got jumped by three black guys at the bus stop. No way. So three guys jumped at you at the bus stop. And what happened? They beat me up. I went to the hospital that day. No way. And and did you have like any any problem in your body after that? Yes, I got, I got beat up. And I was bleeding and bruised up. And No way. And Do I you have any like... I got scars any... on my arm right here. Oh, scarred. no way. Can I, can I see it? So right there on my arm. Oh, my God. And my that's head, just because... My, my head's got bumps and, and scars too oh on my, my head. Oh, my God. And that's, scars there. that's all because of those guys that... But yeah, they had a bat. You. They had a bat, sir. Man. What, what kind of bat was it? Aluminum. And it couldn't break. It wasn't wood. It couldn't break. It's aluminum. You mean like the, the baseball type yes, of bat? Yes. That kind of bat. Yes. Wow. That is and insane, man. I was like, begging and begging for help. I mean, the bus stop, it was nighttime. And and no, nobody, like people in the bus that were sitting there, that nobody decided to help you or even nobody, the bus driver? Nobody. They just started, they just got scared. They didn't see nothing. And what about the bus driver? He kept going. He just took off. Oh, wow. So so the bus he didn't stop. even stop the bus. He didn't no. call the cops. He just kept going while they're fighting yeah. with you in the back. Yeah. Wow. And as soon as the bus stopped, like, did they just run away or what happened? Yeah, basically, they, they didn't have to run. There was no one out around. Wow. They walked away. And th th does this happen in Seattle or, like, in Washington or here yeah, in, in LA? Washington. It happens everywhere. It can happen to anybody. anybody. I always used to pray. Someone would look at it by myself. Three of them. They could have been drinking or be under the influence or something. But... Right. And, and since you're talking about prayer... Um, do you believe in any, any high power or God or anything? No, there's only one God. One God for all of us, I think. And and who is that? God, Jesus. Jesus Amen. Christ. Jesus Christ. So you are a believer. Uh, You're yes, a Christian. I yes, I am. When did you get saved? When did you start believing in Jesus? I haven't believed in Jesus since the day I was born. No way. Yeah. I so mean, your parents used to take you to the church yes. and you, you were born and I raised... I used to go to Sunday school, yeah. Sunday school. Wow. I, was, I was a middle class aged Mexican kid, American, Mexican American kid. I was doing real well. Right. So what what would be a message for the people right now that are struggling with finances? People are that are, you know, trying to move from California or New York to like Texas and stuff. What would be a message for, for them? Just try to follow be be straight. Mm -hmm. Go get a I mean, try to get a job if you can. Right. And stay away from the drugs because drugs are bad. Right. I'll be a witness to that because uh I like to do them, I like them, they make me feel good. Right. I'm older now, but uh Stay positive, stay focused, and just be be uh, be smart about your choices we make. Because some people make the wrong choices. Like I made a few in my in my time, and right. I paid for them. I went to jail. I've been through all the bad things before. I mean, that's just life. And and you know, being smart is not learning from your own mistake. Is learning from other people's mistakes. Yes. So if they can learn from your mistake, they don't have to go through it. That's so, true. So I'm glad you gave people a really good advice. Anybody that's gonna watch this video, they're gonna learn a lot of stuff from you. And you know, Gary, right? You said yes, your name was Gary. Name, Gary. You're gonna change a lot of lives, Gary. A lot of lives, and God will bless you for that. You know that. I hope You're so. You're saving a lot of souls. I so, hope so. I'm so trying to help my people out here too. So I'm at. here, you know what? Since you decided to to be humble and you decided to to be nice, I wanted to go ahead and bless you with this, man. Oh my God! Really? That that's ten thousand dollar cash for you, man. Oh my God! <laughs> You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you, man. Man, thank you so much, man. I don't want to do. Yeah. That's you, great. That's you, amazing. You can do whatever with it, man. You can start a new life. Look at can... pennies, pennies, to this. Damn. Exactly. If you were, if you were going to deny the pennies, then you probably wouldn't What's have got name, this. What's your name, man? We got to work more often somewhere. My, my name is Chris. Hey, God nice bless you, man. You, God man. bless you. God bless you. And have a blessed day, okay? Man, I hide this, man. All right. Okay. Yeah, just put it in your pocket, man. <laughs> right. Take care, bro. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.